I have no idea what is happening to my bangs as usual, but I don't know. Is that really different from any other time in my life? No. It's probably just a sign that I need to wash my hair, but you yeah, know. But that's fine. Hey squirrels, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juniper Rose and today I just figured I'd sit down and kind of give you the life update that you never asked for. Um, and there's a few different reasons for this. Like, first of all, I just wanted to have a chill sit down video where I don't have to worry about the content that I'm putting into the video and just also kind of explain to you guys all of the issues I've been having with creating content at this present point in time and just like yeah, I guess some minor mental health updates because I don't know, that's that's what you do when you put your life on the internet. So, yeah. First of all, I really hope that my camera battery is actually going to last through this video because I've discovered and this is technology problem number 1 that I've been having that's just been so infuriating. I cannot even begin to tell you how infuriating it has been for me. To the point where I don't even know if infuriating is even a word anymore because I've said it way too many times. So yeah, basically, long story short, I've discovered that not all problems with technology are my fault. I, I mean, I don't know, maybe they could be, but I'm choosing to not take responsibility for this one because I've discovered that my camera battery is actually no longer holding a full charge. When I go to charge my camera battery, like it'll sit there with the chargey light saying that it's still charging. It'll sit there for hours. Like, I'm not even kidding. It sits there for hours on end and like it's just never fully charged. And every time that I've gone to film something within like five to ten minutes, my camera just completely shuts off. And at this current point in time, I do not own backup batteries. Although I did look them up on Amazon, they are relatively cheap. So I should probably get some new camera batteries so that I can continue. The only, and I've only had this camera for like a year and Granted, it's not like super fancy and high tech because, you know, like I don't even have a little screen that flips forward so that I can see myself. The only time when I can actually see myself is if I'm using my iPhone, which we all know that little fucker likes to play with the white balance on it way too much and it's just so annoying. <sighs> Anyways, I've only had this camera battery for a couple of years and I haven't used it for much of anything aside from filming videos. So I don't know, maybe it filming for a really long time does tend to put excess does tend to put excess strain or wear and tear on the battery or I don't know. Maybe it is also my fault because I have no idea if this has anything to do with it. I guess we'll figure this out when I get new batteries and see if the same thing happens. So here's my theory. I, ever since I can remember from the time I was a little child, every time I would wear a watch, I would drain the watch battery within like a week or two. I would just suck out every ounce of energy that this battery had and it was completely dead in a week or two. I've done this before with cell phones, before like the whole smartphone thing came out because, you know, yeah, I'm totally dating myself here because homegirl owned a flip phone at one point in her life, okay? Well, we're not gonna get into the details on that. But I also would drain those batteries. They were the little batteries that you could, you know, pop in and out. Quite similar actually, now that I'm thinking about it, to a camera battery. The camera battery that I have now, so I don't know. Maybe me being near in the vicinity of this camera so frequently because it sits by my bed with all my technology stuff like my laptop and stuff and maybe I just drain the batteries while I sleep. I don't fucking know. Like, I... Somebody please give me an explanation for this. And also, somebody, anybody. If literally, literally anybody, anybody else, else is out there that drains watch batteries or just batteries in general, like an abnormal amount, just let me know because I just would love to know that I'm not the only person here. Excuse me. 
They're even out of the room and they're still barking at me. We're just gonna keep doing this. So next thing that I wanted to bring up, which ties into the whole camera battery issue thing that I am currently having. Um, a lot of you guys that do follow me on Instagram have probably seen on my story me alluding to filming a makeup tutorial because I had a little quiz thingy up on my story asking whether you guys wanted like a dark fae tutorial that you've seen on various social media accounts or like this really cute blushy peachy gold summer look and I, I'm not going to spoil it right now for you guys but I did film that that makeup tutorial and I ended up having to film it on my phone because the whole camera situation right and I don't know I maybe my anxiety was just so high that day or I just wasn't exactly in the right headspace. Everything about shooting that tutorial felt really off to me. And it ended up taking me about an hour and 45 minutes to get through a friggin' makeup tutorial, which shouldn't be more than like 15 to 20 minutes long. And I did go and I did try to edit it, but honestly, like I'm just not proud of what happened there. Like I just wasn't very happy with how it turned out. And even after editing, out literally everything that I could. It still was like 30 minutes, which to me for a makeup tutorial is absolutely ridiculously long. And I don't want to put anything out onto my channel that I'm not at least mostly proud of, you know, like I want to be proud of the work that I put on here and I just feel like with that video, my head wasn't necessarily in the game. Sorry about the high school musical reference, but you, there, there you have it. So yeah, basically I just wanted to explain to you guys because I'm sure you have been, you know, waiting for a new video to come up soon having to do with the makeup tutorial. And I mean, I tried. I honestly tried, but it just wasn't my best work. It's way too long and I'm just gonna have to end up refilming it and I'm okay with that, honestly. So yeah, it's gonna take a little bit longer for me to get that out. So I do apologize for that and I do apologize <laughs> about the lack of content. I know that I said that I would be aiming more or less to put a video up every week like I used to, but honestly with just all of these technical issues I've been having on top of mental health issues, it's just not really been happening, so to speak. And so that kind of brings up another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, and that is giving you guys a mental health update. As probably most of you know, if you have been following my channel for a while, I did take about a year off of YouTube and it was last year, the first year that I was in Arizona and there was just a lot of crazy shit that happened. I was working 60 to 80 hours a week and my mental health just declined to the point where I was basically feeling like I was a shell of the person that I used to be. I have struggled with being emotionally disconnected from my own feelings off and on throughout my entire life. And there's a lot of different factors that go into that, that I'm honestly not necessarily ready at this point in time to share on my channel the reasons why that happens. And I also don't have a diagnosis necessarily for some of the things that I've been going through. Um, I have still been working and fighting with the health marketplace people to try and get insurance set up. So for the time being, I'm kind of just left to my own devices as to how I can feel better, how I can connect emotionally to things. And honestly, you guys, I will tell you first and foremost that it is a struggle. It is still a struggle. And me forcing myself to get out of bed and be productive some days is honestly just too much. And I'm sure that this is also coupled with depression and severe anxiety, which I have been diagnosed with. So I can say that yes, I have depression and anxiety mixed with some other things. I'm sure that I just don't know exactly what they are yet, but I mean, it's it, it can be a real struggle. Um, a lot of days I struggle with being motivated to do anything. And so if I do have a day off, sometimes all that I want to do is just be lazy. And 
that is so counterproductive. I mean, it has its time and its place. Like having a day of rest is important for recuperating and rejuvenating. But I feel like I've gotten past that point where I can give myself permission to be lazy every day that I'm not working because it has been a few months since I moved out and we're in a new place now and I'm not working these crazy hours anymore. I don't know. There's just a lot of stuff that's been going on there and I've also been trying to figure out the whole self-care thing. Like, I know this sounds really stupid to a lot of you, and this kind of came out from a conversation that my best friend and I were having the other day where she actually pointed out that I have been a very self-sacrificing individual for my entire life and for the entirety of the time that she's known me. And honestly, that kind of really struck a chord with me, like something that I didn't necessarily realize because it's just so normal for me to want to ignore myself and ignore my own feelings and just go help others instead. You know, I've always been there for other people. I've always been there for, you know, my significant other, my family, my friends, and I've always just been so used to spreading myself so thin that I don't know how to care for myself. I don't know how to efficiently rejuvenate myself, which I think is part of the problem of me not being motivated to do anything on my days off. And I don't know, like I'm honestly just rambling a lot. This is just a, an impromptu video that I decided to film, but I think is very needed. And so I honestly <laughs> had to sit down and figure out, well, what types of self-care are there? I mean, there's this whole thing, especially with like the YouTube and the Instagram community where people are like, oh, I'm going to take a self-care day and I'm going to go get a mani-pedi. I'm going to go get my hair done. I'm going to go like, you know, do my makeup and basically like glam up or like take a nice bath, which yes, that is a form of self-care. That is a form of rejuvenation and sometimes it is much needed. But the fact of the matter is, is that there are so many different types of self-care out there. Um, and I mean, I can do a whole video on types of self-care if you guys want to. So if you want to see a video on that, if you want me to do a video on that, leave a comment down below because there's spiritual self-care, there's personal self-care, there's financial self-care, and you know, there's so many different types of self-care and it wasn't until I actually found a chart online that said, here are different types of self-care and this is what falls into each category of self-care that I really began to actually grasp the concept of self-care. And going back to that conversation that I was having with my best friend about me being a very self-sacrificing person, looking back, I realized that I kind of have been using that as a tool to ignore myself, to ignore facing my own feelings, facing my own emotions and things like that. And so I am a very empathetic person at the same time. I know that sounds totally contradictory to say, but it is easier for me to feel the emotions and the feelings and the vibes of other people than it is to read and feel my own, which sounds so weird. But anyways, me caring for other people and ignoring myself was actually something that I realized was a form of self-sabotage. And that's another thing that really hit home for me is that me ignoring to take care of myself, even though it's something that I've just done, ignored my entire life, it is a form of self-sabotage because I am not facing myself. I am not spending this time with myself. I am not taking care of the body that I am in. Putting witchcraft aside, putting spirituality aside for the time being, I'm ignoring the me that is here right now. And I'm sabotaging the me that is here right now. I've always been a person that looks to the future. I have goals. I have things that I want to do, especially for this channel. And I really want to see this channel succeed. And I want you guys to be able to come here after a long day of work or school or whatever. And for me to be able to brighten your day somehow, for me to have some kind of inspirational message for you or just something silly but educational or just flat out silly. I I don't know. 
but right now I need to focus on me and it's such a hard thing to come to terms with. I mean, even right now, like I know that I'm feeling things, but I know that I'm also not feeling it to the depth that I could be. It's like I'm skimming the surface of my own emotions and I know there's more down deeper, but I don't know how to get there yet. And another thing that I have come to realize is that, you know, I've been sitting down and wondering why I haven't been able to manifest what I want out of my life. Because I am a strong believer in the law of attraction and that is one thing that hugely attracted me to my current spiritual practice is the concept that when you manifest something, then the universe will respond at least one way or another. And I realized that I've been taking the back door and perhaps this is a reason why I have haven't been so into my craft as of late because maybe I realized this on a subconscious level. The reason why I recently discovered that I'm not manifesting what I want, part of the reason why perhaps I have like perhaps part of the reason why I don't have motivation to get up and do the things every day is because I have a lot of self-doubt and me coming here and saying this to you guys is hard. It's and I wasn't even expecting for this video to be the way that it is, but I guess this is happening. Um, confessions of Juniper Rose, I mean, there you have it. But self-doubt is a huge thing. And looking back, realizing, realizing now on a conscious level that I struggle with self-doubt. I didn't even know what it was before. It was just something that was there subconsciously I didn't have a word for how I felt or how small I felt in the grand scheme of things. I didn't have a word to explain how I just never felt like I would be good enough to do anything or manifest anything for that matter. And that word is self-doubt and it's something that I need to stop doing. So yeah, this is me coming and telling you guys this is what I'm struggling with right now and I hope that there's some important message here for you as well. Maybe maybe you learn something from my mistakes or maybe you connect or maybe you figure something out about yourself. But I realized that in order for me to move forward with my life, in order for me to attain these goals that I need to start facing myself. I need to care for myself. Oftentimes it is the people that go out of their way to care for others, that will care for others at the drop of a hat, that need to be cared for the most. My friend also sent me a post from the user Alexi Panos on Instagram. Um, I'll make sure to link that video down below, but she basically says, trust that you are exactly where you're supposed to be right now. And that if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling like you're behind, you know, maybe you haven't moved forward in a while, there's a lesson that you're not grasping yet. There's a lesson that you need to learn right here, right now. And until you fully understand and grasp that lesson, you're not gonna move forward with life. And that also rang very true for me. So basically this is me sitting down saying, I think these are my lessons that I need to learn right now. These are the lessons that I need to figure out right now so that I can move forward with my life. Because if I'm trying to move forward with self-doubt about me doing what I want to do, about me traveling, about me doing a lot of things for this channel that I want to, if I have self-doubt and if I'm not caring for myself, that's never going to happen. And I've always been a firm believer in before you can truly love others, you need to love yourself. The more that you love yourself, the more love you have to give to others. And I think now I'm just having to face that as a reality. And it's it sucks because I don't know if it was just me ignoring things about me, but sometimes you realize that you're not as far ahead as you thought you were. But you know what, that's okay. I'm glad that I've been able to work these things out enough so that it's on a conscious level so that I can start to work on it consciously so that I can end this cycle of self-sabotage. 
So addressing the other issue of me not being motivated to do anything is just, I think, out of an old habit of me waiting for life to happen. I've been working full-time jobs and I feel like I've had to put my life on hold several different times just to make ends meet and I've just been waiting for life to happen to me. But the other thing is that in order for me to start being able to live the life that I want, in order for me to start manifesting what I want, I need to start happening to things. I need to be the person that is the catalyst for moving forward in my life. And maybe that's another lesson. All right, well, surprise, my camera died. It's probably gonna die again because I literally just turned it back on. But yeah, leave a comment down below. Tell me something that you're gonna work on in terms of self-care. And also, if you want to see a video on the types of self-care or just leave a little heart emoji, that would mean the world to me. But anyways, I've got it in this video before my camera dies again. So until next time, the switch is out. Bye. Um, 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 and we're gonna do that again. I'm editing that out. Do not have time for this shit.